Hey guys, I wanted to do a 3D film to show off my soldering iron solder cam. Okay, a couple things about this video though. One, it's in 3D, so hopefully you guys have the ability to put this on your phone in 3D. And by that I mean uh, put on a Google Cardboard or something else so that you can see the 3D-ness of this thing. It also means two other things. One, that I can't edit this film, and two, that well, it's not going to be that interesting if it goes out of focus. So hopefully I'll be able to keep it in focus as long as I can. But I wanted to kind of walk around, and I literally mean walk around the solder cam, so you guys could see it from a couple different perspectives, so you could see exactly what goes into this thing. So the first thing to say is this is the Hakko FX888D. You can see that a little further down on my desk there. There's the power unit over there, and a couple of spools with my solder on it. But here we have the contraption that is the soldering iron. So I'm just going to reach into camera here as best I can, holding it still. Okay, and remove this. This is the soldering iron component itself, and on top of it is the Logitech Brio. All right, and you can see what I've done here uh, at the back. I'm just going to put it back in there. All right. Here at the back I've got a, an O-ring that I've tightened on and through the O-ring I've put a screw. The screw is captured by the O-ring and you can see it goes through there and it's got two bolts on it. No wait, two nuts on it. One on the inside, one on the outside. Those nuts hold together and clamp down on this piece of aluminum that my dad made for me. The aluminum bar here has lots of different holes in it so that I could, atta so that I could attach different uh, positions or different weights to it so that I could counterbalance it if it was too front heavy. The lucky part is actually when I do this, it's uh, balanced pretty well over the top of the soldering iron point, so, so actually it's not too bad, like I'm not trying to hold it up or anything, it's, it's pretty level. It is heavy though, but anyways, on, after that you can see at the back there's two other screws there. Let me just put this back in so I can... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm doing this in 3D. At the back here you can see two screws. The first screw is this screw. No, actually, the first screw is this screw. This goes through to the mounting bolt there and then into the camera. So that holds the camera uh, correctly positioned like the right distance over the, uh, the tip. And then this one locks it in so it doesn't rotate. Does that make sense? You can see that it is quite heavy and it rolls around. Okay, so when I, here's some of the struggles that I have, when I wipe it down, you can see that the camera is really close to hitting this thing. So I often do this sort of thing when I'm wiping it down, which makes it even more erratic as you guys are looking at solder cam. Alright, that should give you a pretty good sense of exactly what solder cam is, is and what it's all about. Just going to give you a slightly wider view here of my desk, just so you can put it into context. Uh, I have to back up because I can't zoom out any. But that is what my desk looks like, and here's the overhead camera above. Alright guys, well, just a short video, again, just to show you exactly what solder cam looks like. What I need to do now is take this video, put it onto the computer, I need to process it, and then I'm going to be able to upload it to YouTube as a 3D video, so you guys are going to see a little bit of different stuff. Again, don't forget to press like, don't forget to press subscribe, uh, and of course, don't forget to check back soon, because what I'd love to do is add a 360 camera to my setup, so you guys can... Uh, take a look around at the premises, see exactly all the stuff that goes into making my YouTube videos. Thanks again. See you guys soon.